Hi everyone, Roseanne Riley here from Hands of Time Healing. Continuing the conversation about repairing our nervous system and how important it is to know when we need to do this. So some signs that your nervous system may be in need of repair are simple things like not being able to sleep. Uh, if something was stressful throughout your day and you didn't quite get to clear it and you end up having sleepless nights or maybe a couple of sleepless nights because of it, it that's a real sign of low vagal tone. So that's in the event of like emotional overwhelm. If we feel like we're stuck in chronic states of fear, anxiety, and constant wheels of worry or in negative thinking patterns, that's also a sign that the nervous system is in need of repair and that possibly our vagus nerve is in need of a little tune-up. Okay, so it can help us to shift out of what's called those hypoarousal states or from those hyperaroused states, overactive or underactive states. It's really important to know that you're not stuck with these, that this is really just your nervous system adapting to what it perceives as a threat, a danger, a lack of safety. And we are built to cope with short-term stress, but when it comes to long-term stress, like a situation that we're in right now where there doesn't really seem to be an end in sight, it begins to wear on our nervous system. So it's really important to know that there are things that you can do to help yourself. And part of that helping is by recognizing signs of low vagal tone. Sometimes a simple thing like postural change. Um, so even if you're used to a yoga practice and you're finding that when you transition from say bending over to standing upright, you're getting quite dizzy. That's also a sign of low vagal tone. If you are feeling that your digestive system is off, maybe there's um, constipation, irritable bowel, just bloating, um, general discomfort around your digestive area, that's a sign of low vagal tone. If you feel like your heart is just completely out of whack, sometimes your, your rhythm is really, really fast and high and sometimes it's like barely thudding along, that's a sign of low vagal tone too. And it's a sign really that your nervous system is in need of repair and there's no shame in that, okay? There is, there is this association that, okay, we're, we're just supposed to like be able to tolerate stress, okay? And it doesn't matter what background you come from, whether you're a nurse, a teacher, a police officer, a parent, it's like the sense of like, you're weak if you can't cope or tolerate stress, okay? And that's a misnomer, okay? Our systems are built to help us cope, like I said, with short-term stress in very efficient ways. But when those efficient ways start um, becoming dysregulated, that we are not able to tolerate as much as what we used to, it's not a sign that you're becoming weak. It's not a sign of anything other than the fact that your nervous system has just gone into overdrive. It has gone into this place of just being overworked overstrained and it's not as elastic you know it's like that elastic band that just keeps getting stretched and over time it just stays stretched it never quite comes back but the good thing about our nervous system is we can bring it back we can bring back that sense of emotional stability that inner sense of stability and also that sense of agency back into your life that you don't have to feel as triggered or as overwhelmed or as weighed down maybe as, as kind of hypo aroused in those collapsed states or those overactive states as I've already mentioned. The things that we can do to help ourselves to build vagal tone are really subtle techniques but they have a profound effect on our nervous system and it's really important that we learn these so that we can take responsibility for our nervous system states and again I don't mean that in a shameful way. Okay, especially if you come from a background of trauma. But there are things that if you really feel like you want to be able to cope better, to be able to tolerate more. And in some ways when people say to me, you know, Roseanne, I just, I just can't take anymore. And they're, they really feel like they're drowning. They're drowning with, with everything from, from, from their life. They're really asking me to help them um, cope with distress 
think maybe to be even able to increase their ability to tolerate distress. And, and it is important throughout life to really understand that stress is always going to be a part of our life. But this long-term chronic stress with no end in sight will take its toll on your nervous system. So give yourself a break. There's plenty you can do. You can find me at www.handsoftimehealing.com. I'm going to be running a workshop very soon. You can check out the dates and sign up for it there. And, um, and know that you can reach out to me at any time. Okay, you do not need to be stuck with these states. These states can shift, they can fluctuate, and it's really, really great for you to almost like take back the steering wheel of your car, okay, and start driving it around. Because really, that's what you're giving yourself back, is that sense of, okay, you're in the driver's seat of your, of your life again, rather than feeling like you're in the back seat and you're on this, this ride that you don't think is ever going to stop.